So here we are back with DBC 14, Don Brother and Cricket 14 by Big Ant on the PlayStation 3 with me, the pro Spartan gamer, and our batsman, Mr. Spartan, playing for Somerset, 19 years old now, getting attention from the Big Bash and domestic one-day cricket in Australia. Had a couple reasonable games in the championship of late, a 45 and a 50. Um... But we now have a one-day game against Hampshire to bring you first up here. And we're going to be positive. We're going to really try and hit them. And if it's spinners, we're going to come down the wicket. So we will either die by the sword or be successful by the sword. There's no in-between. We're not going to dilly-dally around. We want to hit runs and we want to hit runs quickly. And that's what we intend to do. We're going to have a real old splash at it. Riggs is going to have to go. We'd like to face a bit of seam bowling, though, from time to time. We don't seem to be facing much seam bowling at all of late. It seems to be all wrist spin or finger spin. And we would like to face a seam bowling. Some of us that are bowling first, so we won't be involved for a while. So we'll be out on the field for a while, and then we will have a cucumber and crab sandwich for tea. Not too many, because we want to be able to run when we're batting before we come back out and chase down what looks like it's going to be a fairly big total, 200 plus from Hampshire, I should think. Who are we going to be facing? No one at the moment, because it's going to be spin, and it's Carberry. It's always Carberry for Hampshire, never anyone else. So facing Carberry, 17 for one or 18 for one. Don't know what we're chasing. There is gaps in the field. Straight through there is a big one. Should be two. Good start. Wait. Yeah, come on. It's a good shot. It's two. Don't think it'll be four. Shame he did time it quite well. Might be four. No, he's done well. Stopped that over there. Yeah, that could be four this time. That's an awful delivery. We've got eight there and stretched it. No, it's only two more. We're obviously not timing it quite as well. Three twos and that over gets us up and running. And a good start. Compton playing like it's a five day test match here. Sees out a maiden from Smith. So we wait at the other end right getting us a face at all. We continue driving it straight down the ground where the gap is for two more. Not going to let Carberry settle into a line of length here. He can help, but he usually gets us out, though. We're just looking at where the gaps are, and that's the only gap, really, is straight. Surely that's four this time. It was a full toss, and we've mullered it. Surely we're going to get a four. Nope. We just can't be timing them, then. Can't be quite timing them. Five twos. We're dealing in twos. Might well be another two. This is going to be no good for the legs. They're going to be worn out running all these twos. For fuck's sake, Compton saying hit it to the fence. Making me run like this. I think that might be the fence this time. It is. Well done. Well done, Compton saying. Finally, you listen. Nice shot. Straight bass of bowler with interest. Whoa. Oh, we haven't edged that. We haven't edged that, have we? Oh, we have. He's flopped it out wide. We've gone for the expansive drive. And the Maltese ahead, Carberry's got us again. And it must have been a real feather edge. And we've gone for 16. 
Let's have a look at it. Must have been a real feather edge. Oh, sickening. Just starting to get going. And gone again. We need to score some runs in this Pro 40. Otherwise, the interest from Australia and everywhere else is going to wander. Somerset going to struggle to get anywhere near this total, I think. Another defeat against top of the table, Hampshire. Crushing blow by 50 runs. Spartan with 16 off 9. Not good enough. More championship cricket to come up now then. It can't be we can't be far off the T20. Uh, and that's what we really enjoy. We have that load of T20s in the middle of the season and hopefully that's coming up soon. That'll be nice if it's around the corner. Dozen T20s to really get our teeth into. We were poor in the T20 last year, so we can't wait for that to come up this year and have a real go at it. It's gotta be soon. Might have one more championship game and then it's probably up. We've got the championship here against Durham now. It's got to be coming pretty soon, I should think. The T20. Anyway, it's Durham in the championship. And they haven't got quite so many spinners. So hopefully we might actually get to face some seam bowling in this one with any luck. Borthwich is the only real spinner, I suppose. They sometimes get breeze to turn, but... Stoneman, Onions, and the like usually do get the the ball. And we have we have been inserted by Durham, so hopefully we might be involved early on here. Come on, we have scored runs runs against Durham in the past. No, they've put on a few. They've batted for a long time, probably like thirty overs. So they probably once again batted long enough to get the spinners on, and they have look. There's a surprise. 18 overs for 22 runs. How boring is that? Both which on straight away. So Trestoffic taking a lot of strike here. Hopefully we'll be facing Collingwood. That's what we've been waiting for. And it is. Collingwood is on. Dilip Dollop Doshi bowler, hopefully. No man out over there. Man at fine leg is the worry. But no one over there and we've dumped it for four. It's a nice shot. Pick up and go. There's a six. Got hold of it. Big blow from Spartan. He's off the mark of a big six off Collingwood. Spartan not going to hang around. We know that he's in real... Attacking mode at the moment. That's a lovely pick up, that is. Still no one out there. And rain the wicket, so that's interesting. Go fetch, Collie. Go fetch, my boy. It's another lusty blow, and that's 96 metres. Collingwood at the Dillip Dollop Doshi pace. Might get us out in a minute, but we're going to have some fun while we can. We haven't faced seen for a long time. That's a big hit. That is a great big hit. Just check. Still no one out there. Oh, slower ball from Collie. It's the experience of the man. He's not going to get it for too many sixes in a row. Not Collingwood. Might be another four though. Should be. Yes. Good clippage off the legs. Colin going for a few here. Spartan having a bit of a whirl. Good cricket. Good entertaining stuff. This is what Spartan gives you. This is why Big Bash are looking at him. Oh, that's good bowling. Didn't hit that. Didn't hit that. Surely. Oh, thank God for that. Keep on getting these feather edges. So, interesting over. Let's have more of Collingwood, please. So, we get to face a spinner this time. We haven't faced much spin in this innings. It's been mainly Collingwood. Hopefully, we can carry on just pushing it. 
Waiting! Oh, how's that out? How is that out? How has he caught that? Some of the catches are insane on here. Just don't understand how he even got out there. 16 and gone, and, and it's crazy. Keita Jennings in there under the lid has somehow managed to cat, pull a ferret out of his pocket. Let's have a look at it. Oof. Really is, just stick your hand out and it's stuck. And we've had so many unlucky dismissals of late. We really have. And that's another one. Going along so well. And loved facing Collie as well. Hildreth's going to knock up some runs. Hopefully he can get three figures. He hasn't scored 100 for a while and he has today. Not a big score though. Somerset, real rock bottom, don't forget, of this. Division 2 of the County Championship having an awful season. Their only hope really of anything any good this year is the T20. And that should be coming along quite soon. Second innings of this match to come though. Against Durham. We're in again. Who are we facing? We'd like to get at least 20 in this second innings. We've got pace. We've got men out everywhere for the pace as well. Big gap through the covers. It's Harrison steaming in. Straight to square point. Unusual position for us. Last ball the over that was, so no more to face. The floodlights are on. It's a dark, dingy afternoon here in Manchester. Let's have a look at match situation in a minute. Somerset lead by 25, so not a lot in it at the moment. Real tight nip and tuck here at the end of day two. So anyone's game. So what have we got coming up now then? Who are we going to be facing? It's a pace of Harrison. Field set pretty decent. Big gap through the covers. Not going to be easy to get him away. Nice shot though. Saw the gap and hit it through there. Didn't quite get it. It's a thick enough edge to get to. And get off and running here. Might look to play him a little bit off the back foot this guy. Gorgeous cricket shot. It's good at that shot. Really is. And it's four runs. It's a lovely cricket shot. One of the hardest to play in the book. Back foot drive through the covers for four. He's got the shot spot and he just hasn't got the patience to put it all together in an innings. He's got the shots but not the application to deliver it consistently. I think that's what they all say in his report. So at the end of the session, Spartan... Survives through the end of day two. Six not out. One glorious shot through the covers here in the second innings of the championship game against Durham. All to play for in day three. Somerset lead by 37. Can we add to the six overnight runs? Hopefully try and get at least 30 or so in this innings would be good. Beautiful dry straight down the ground. Might only be one. There's only going to be one. Didn't quite get it. I got excited there. I thought it was a better strike than what it was. Move on to seven, though. And we shall keep the strike with that. Hopefully, it's not spin. It's going to be seen. Because we'd like a bit of seam. A bit of a better challenge it is. It's Harrison. Harrison Ford is on. We played him quite well last night. Gorgeous cricket shot again. Top of the bounce. Two runs. Trouble is with this technique is if they throw in that Yorker. As you in a little bit of trouble. That's a nice shot as well. That should be two. Push. Good run in. Easy two, really. Two 
Runs coming quite freely here. Waiting! He's one way of the wicket and then he's the other. He's back and forward like a Jack Spratt here. Opened ourselves up just a single. Risky right off middle peg that one. Moves on to 12 though. That's interesting. There's no one deep over there. So there is a possibility that he might go fetch. Oh yeah, it flat. Didn't really get hold of it. I say there is a chance he might go and fetch. If he can get hold of it, he will. Oh, unlucky. That was a good shot along the deck. Got it through. Hadn't really got hold of it, though. It was only a single. Bit of a poor cricket shot, really. Bit of a slash, that one. I want to put that one in the locker and not pull it out again, Mr. Spartan. Slow going here from Somerset. 45 off 20 overs is not good. Spartan usually looks to up the ante a little bit if he can. It's a pretty decent field, actually, to be fair. Oh, what sort of shot is that? I don't know why he's gone over there like that. That's happened twice today. It's almost like you don't want him to, to go over to the le that far the one way. Look at the exaggerated movement. You don't want him to move like that. And that is twice we've been out like that in recent episodes. And that is going back to when we first started playing the game. That's real disappointing. Don't want to see that at all. Those sort of dismissals. Let's see who wins this tight match. Spotting out for a good 13 and then a crap ending, to be fair. And it's another 100 for Hildreth, which has put Somerset in the box seat here. And then big under two. Could even be a double hundred. No, 183, but that should be enough for Somerset to record their first win in the championship this year, as long as they don't run out of time here on day four. Not a lot of time left. Need Collingwood out. Need Ushad out. It's going to be a draw. It's another draw. Somerset failed to nail the final nail into the coffin. It's another draw when they should have won it. I'm a bit disappointing there. A couple, well, 16 and a 13. Not good enough, really. We're hoping for T20 to be starting very soon. Hopefully it might start in this episode, which would be great for you guys if it does. It can't be far off. We've played eight championship games now, I think, or seven or eight. We've played quite a few one-day games. There's usually a break about halfway through the season for this. So hopefully it's coming soon and we can crash on with it. It's a Pro 40 against Scotland first that you've got coming up. Now, come on. Really want to get at least a 20 in this Pro 40. Pro 40. We've struggled for runs in this. We need to hit some runs. Hopefully this will be the last match of this episode. Because we'll be in there for a while. Notching up at least a gut sake. Or even a 30 would be great. And if we're dreaming, it will be a 50. That will be fantastic. Need to get runs in this competition. It's back at our home ground. Against Scotland. Somerset haven't won a game of cricket for a long time. They need something here. We always think Scotland's a chance to score runs, but for some reason we haven't really delivered against them. It's fair to say we've flattered a, to, to do anything against Scotland when we should be looking to knock up a few against these. Somerset are bowling first, which never seems to be good for me for some reason. Fraser Watts opening the batting for Scotland. He's got not a very good average. We've made, we caught someone there. We didn't even know nothing about it. We've caught Watts off Overton. Drummond's knocking up some runs, but there's not a very big total to get. How many does Somerset need? Don't know if it's even 100. Let's have a look. Coming in, 18.5. Need that to at least go up to 25, that average. The medium dobber is one of those bold beacons on. Some said, well, 160 they hit. Sorry, I've done them a misjustice. They've hit more than we thought there. It's one of these receding head bastards coming on with the gorilla arms. Oh, we're not facing him. That's disappointing. I hate it when you come in and don't face. So we will face him anyway. Seven overs gone here. 
We'll have a look at the field. There's a deep mid wicket back, which is not good. Pretty decent field, to be fair. Go on, it could be two. Run. Easy two, actually. Good cricket. Nice drive. Easy two. Push, 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 push. Steady start here then. Nothing too explosive. Waiting! That was a nice shot. Straight at the fielder though. Yeah, come on. He's tanned the ass off that. It might be four. It is. Glorious shot to end the over. And it was always nice to get a boundary early on. And he's got one there. Moved on to eight. Nice shot. Through the gap. So Compton has done exactly that. He's put the pressure on there. He's seen out a maiden there from Lockhart. Which is not exactly what we were looking for, really, from Compton. That's poor cricket, to be fair. Big gaps over there. We fancy him. And we've gone for him. Compton daydreaming at one end. We're not going to stand back. We've hit the big top straight on the noggin there. And the tented village. We've scattered the people. There's champagne and strawberries always. As they look to dodge another of Spartan's bullets from the middle. Straight on top of the big. Big tent, look at them under the marquee and gazebo, scattering always as Spartan opens fire and delivers a big six. And then, is that another four? Great shot, Great shot off the back foot, pulled around. Compton, this is how you do it. You don't sit on your bat all afternoon playing for your average. You've got to try and play for the team a little bit and get some runs here. He's drilled that through there. Looking at the field. So I don't know if he wants to take it on again. And he has. He's got hold of this. It's a massive blow over the oak tree. Real big hit. Another six. Smith's the one who's going here. And Spartan. Not going to hold back now. Not going to wait for the ball that's got his name on it. He's hit that in the road nearly, I think. Into the conquer tree. Still no change in the field. Straight to the fielder. Always worry that's nearly a catch in there. Almost had the feel of a catch. Go fetch again. I think he's got hold of that one. It's only going to be four this time, I think. Bit too much elevation on it, but it's a good over. That's 20 off this over so far. This is the sort of thing that has attracted lots of people from Oz looking at Spartan. He scores runs quickly when he gets going. Nearly another six, just a few yards shy. And then a lovely drive through the covers to show he's not all about leg side heave ho. For a brace of twos to finish up with 22 off the over. Compton Maiden's the last. Spartan hits 22 in one over. That's the difference between them. And it's a Western Gazette that we wanted. And it's a good end to this episode 51 now. With a nice little innings to show you that he can bat well. So off we got them. We've got Lockhart we are now facing. Men out though. Men out. Just take it steady. Yeah, come on. Just take the single and keep the strike. And hopefully it'll be Simon Smith again. 31 we move to. Someone's at 61 for one. We're chasing 166. So still 100 needed. No, it's a finger spinner Murphy. That's not what you want. Dear. Lovely shot straight down the ground. Definitely two. And the fielder straight long up, collects the ball. 
he will come down to this spinner. It is limited over cricket. He's not going to die wondering, Spartan. Just don't want to cloth it. And he has clothed it. He's got away with it, though. Four runs. Didn't think he hit it. But he's got away with it. Wasn't the cleanest of strikes. But it's four runs and he'll take it. To be fair, it's better than what we thought. It was a decent shot. Just not, didn't have much trajectory on it. And that's a lovely shot. Should be two more. He's going, Compton, you've got to make it. Man out there now. Just push it into the gap wide of him for one. And we move into the 40s. It's another very good knock. We have put, last three episodes, we have put at least a 40 in at some point in each episode. So I suppose it's not that bad. We just can't go on and make the, the real big scores that we're wanting. Lovely to get a three-figure score at some point. One that we are on pro. I don't know how many levels there are. But Simon Smith come back on at this end now. It's a deep mid-wicket out there. There's no one through the covers. A massive gap through the covers. Oh, we feather edged him. We feather edged Smith. Going for the covers. We're trying to work it with an open blade through the covers. And he's got us for 40. That's disappointing. Disappointing end of episode 51. Because I felt sure 50 was on the, on the cards there. And it's a nothing ball. You sort of wish you'd really gone for it. And looked to slap him straight over his head. Instead of going for the push through there. So I sometimes think the back foot shot's better through there. We've gone for 40 in quick time. It's a good knock. It's a good knock in pro 40. 40. We'd, we'd take 40 every time we come to the crease in quick time like that. That's decent. But obviously it would have been nice to have gone on and made a 50. Somerset should get the 166 they need though. And I think they have. Yes, final win then. Moiberg brings them home. Compton had a 49, Moyberg's 35, wins in the man of the match with two wickets as well. But they see decent contribution from Pro Spartan, the 40. That's not a bad knock in a low scoring game, even though he didn't win any XP individually for that. That wasn't too bad. Looks like we've got one more county championship game left before perhaps a T20 starts. Let's just see where we are in each competition. Somerset still rock bottom, and it's a basement battle against Derby by the look of it in that one to come where are we in the other competition the Pro 40 1 4 out of 7 still with an outside chance of qualifying there we've got Surrey next who's going to be a tough nut in that one uh, I don't think there's any real in increase in our selection status or anything still getting attention so that's still the same what about the stats? Any change there in the list A? Up to 19. So it has gone up a little bit um, after that 40, which is good. We want to get that to 20. What about the first class average? Still not up to 15. Need to get that up to 20 at least. And the 2020 average, we're looking at only 14 and a half. So when that comes around this year, we really will be looking to accelerate that and hopefully manage to get that up above 20 as well that would be good so that's wrapping up episode 51 here decent knock there shame he didn't bring the bacon home with a 50 but it's a good 40 and yeah there's signs that he, he is scoring runs a little bit more consistently but just needs to go on and get some really big scores thanks for joining me dudes see you soon cheers out there.